I'm Deborah Borchardt and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. New Mexico became the 18th state to legalize cannabis for adults 21 and over after Governor Michelle Grisham signed the Cannabis Regulation Act into law this week. New Mexico is now the fifth state to adopt a legalization policy by passing a bill through its state legislature versus a voter initiative. AFRIA reported that its revenue dropped versus the last quarter, and they also reported a whopping net loss of $361 million. They missed annual assessments for earnings and revenues. Now, their revenue did increase 6.4% over last year to $153 million, but the company said that the duration and impact of lockdowns due to COVID across many of the regions in Canada were greater than they had initially anticipated. Organogram Holdings reported that its revenue also fell 29% to $19.2 million in the second fiscal quarter of 2021. The company said it was mostly due to lower wholesale revenue and lower average selling prices, but they too said that their net revenue was lower because certain employees tested positive for COVID, which resulted in a significant number of facility staff to have to isolate. Tilt Holdings reported revenue for the fourth quarter increased 8% sequentially to $42 million. For the full year, their revenue came in at $158 million. Scott's Miracle Grow recently announced that it expects to report sales growth in the range of 4 to 6%. It had originally said that its sales would come in flat to down 5%. Now, the Hawthorne segment, which is the hydroponic group, is forecast to witness sales growth at the top end of the guidance of 20 to 30%. And finally, guess what next week is? It is 420. The weekend preceding 420 though, because it lands on a Tuesday, is pegged by a Kearney's predictive data to be the most significant sales weekend of the year. They expect that on Friday, April 16th, there will be a 50% growth in daily sales and we could see a sales figure of $85 million. Now, by the time Tuesday rolls around, daily retail sales are expected to gross 95 million nationally, and that would bring the total 420 related sales to $370 million. So party on, my friends. I'm Deborah Borchart with the Green Market Report.